Need no heat up my place By my bed Woman I got Cherry red Need no heat up My place by my bed All right, welcome back to another quick installment of Julian's Random Projects. Uh, today we're installing this uh, this guy here, one of the tunable tip fire stick twos. The reason I went with a, an easily tunable one is um, not a big fan of sitting there like cutting notches on it, and I thought maybe I'd want to move it around and sort of experiment a little bit with it. So I got one that has a tunable tip, and we'll take a closer look at the, what the tip looks like here in a moment. The uh, seeing the uh, Jeep reminds me. Uh, if you guys have ever watched um, Not a Rubicon's YouTube videos, I'll put a link down in the descriptions. Uh, he's often talking about how many fars can one person talk. And today we're going to take a stab at getting this uh, fiberglass antenna uh, to talk as many fars as we can. And then more importantly, we want something that uh, can listen good, that has a good set of ears on it. Um, it's no fun to just be able to talk and not hear anybody else uh, or hear that distant station so tuning this just right and we're gonna a lot of people will tune these for um, you know like a wide range of uh, what they want to listen to I'm gonna try and get it um, not that I have a lot of control over how narrow it is uh, but I'm going to set the SWR the resonance of this antenna to exactly the frequency that I spend a lot of time on which is 27385 my main tool for doing that is one of these uh, nano vnas and i think they were like 100 bucks when i first bought mine and now they're down to like 48 you know 50 bucks uh right now on amazon i'll put a link down in the description there these are the bees knees once you have it calibrated you can go in here and have it set for swr and we're going to do that but we have to go to the other end of the uh, coax cable i've um after bolting this here it might not be its final resting place uh but it's you know good enough for now um I'm kind of picky about where I put antennas on trucks or like how much I'm going to drill into the thing. And so that coax runs through a couple of grommets and into the uh, bed of the truck. So that's the end we're going to put our tuner on. This also let us check for shorts and that kind of thing before we key up and try and run some power through that, through that line. The reason we're back here at the edge of the property is you don't want to do this in your garage. <laughs> You're going to get all sorts of um, bouncing off the walls and the ceiling and stuff. And you don't want to do it right up against a metal building or anything. So just drive out into a field somewhere if you can, a, a park, a big open parking lot, something. Um, maybe not a Walmart parking lot with all the halogen bulbs humming along and that kind of stuff. But just get out somewhere nice and quiet. And uh, that's going to be your place to tune this thing for your best SWR. So let's get a couple of adapters. Head into the cab. As you can see, I've got my dashboard torn apart here because I'm not really sure what the final resting place is of some of these things. This vintage of car, uh, these you know early 2000s cars, uh, I think even uh, late 90s, everyone was going for this like rounded, you know, modern look compared to the squared off stuff from the 80s, but. When you're trying to install equipment like this or mount a uh, a handset somewhere, <laughs> your uh, CB radio, uh, all these curved surfaces make it difficult to install brackets and the like. So a um, lot of experimentation going on here. But what we need is back here. Oh, all right. So that's what we need. So we're gonna connect this guy to this one. Now it's stole a little stylist um, from one of the kids Nintendo's um, you can a lot of these come with a guitar pick which I guess is easier than a stylist uh, or sorry not easier but uh, cheaper <laughs> um, but if you've got a proper stylus you can get one look out and the screen's already tiny so I'm gonna pull up one I've done earlier oh yeah we're pretty close let's see where are we at now all right it is see that big dip there for uh the blue line that's our swr line and this marker you can have as many markers as you want um you might want to have one for you know this edge of the band and another one over here um and then even sorry right about there that's the frequency i want and here i'm at 1.5 now some people accept that if they've been messing around with an antenna and the best they're going to get is 1.5 to 1 ratio for their swr they'll live with it and move on or use a tuner or something um but we can t we can see here we should be able to get down to 1.3 
Um, that's a pretty nice little notch there. So what I'm gonna do, there's 3.8, real close to the frequency I wanna use. And so I'm just gonna set this here. Let's watch that thing and see if it goes left or right here. So as you can see, all we do is just loosen this locking nut here and then inker dinker, you know, like a, and just raise and lower this screw. So here we're going lower, too far. All right, so we raise it back up. All right, still not quite there. Just keep walking it in, walking it in, and then there. Now, each time you're touching it and putting your little uh, meat sticks on it here, um, it's gonna swing, you'll see it move wildly. So set it, move, move your body, it's full of water, away from uh, the antenna, to at least the same distance each time, take your measurements, and then come back to it. Okay, don't, you don't want to stand here and be touching it while someone else is looking at the screen. Uh, you'll get all sorts of weird readings and stuff, so um, cool. Now we got it locked in place, snug it up there, and put our little uh, protective cap on. This keeps the rain out of those threads. If I was thinking about it, I would have put some um, dielectric grease in there, um, like I did for the other connections down here at the bottom. Put anti seize in the um, spring, and then dielectric in the actual RF connections. All right, there we go. Let's uh, let's head back inside the cab and see how it goes. All right, much better. Perfect. All right, let's get this thing. Connected and uh, see, what, see if we can get on the air. All right, there was some colorful language, uh, so. <laughs> we had to... No, no doubt. We'll see you, man. I'm going to wait for the waiter. I got, I got a J-Fat for this back. We'll do 39. All right. Um, CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX, Super 64, 64, Texas. Try him. Hey, Central Connecticut, how about it, buddy? You got a copy on a 6464 6 Texas. 6464 Texas, yeah, you're in my radio. Good afternoon. Hey, appreciate it, Connecticut. Yeah, man, I just uh, threw up this little fire stick on the truck and I wanted to <laughs> see if I could get out, man. I appreciate the contact, Super 64. Uh, at what part of Connecticut? Copy on the fire stick, yeah, I'm Central, just south of Hartford, capital. Hey, Roger on the Hartford. Yeah, man, well, you're coming in 5x9 into uh, Central Texas, uh, about 20 minutes outside of Austin right now. Uh, I'm just uh, sitting in a field on, on our uh, homestead here in the truck, just trying to get this thing up and running. Yeah, copy on that in a field. I'm at the Ponderosa myself here. I got the solar panel up top, the batteries behind me, and the Cobra 200 getting in the gleaming wood line. So we're, uh, we're, we're happy as can be about that. Good contact. You, you faded out at the end, but I'm sure I'm fading out too. 73 from what's left of the Constitution State. 421, Mr. D. Beckwith. Hey, 421. Appreciate it, man. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, the start of a great new week. Super 6-4. Clear. That's a contact. I mean, I mean, whether it's local or what have you, um, it's, you know, it's, uh, if you're, if you're getting out that well, and you can talk to a guy in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, you got it tuned <laughs> probably all right. So I'd call that a success. That's exactly how you do it. Get yourself um, one of these guys. And if you're really interested in getting dialed in and having some of the, the best use of the power you've got going, a lot of folks are putting in amplifiers and messing around with the radio itself or, or tweaking some of the potentiometers inside there, cutting resistors to get just that extra little bit of power power in there. And what they ought to be doing is grabbing one of these for 50 bucks and getting your antenna tuned. You're gonna, I, I've talked to other people with 10 watts and, or, or less, uh, you know, tw the, the, the full legal limit as this thing comes out of the factory. And so it can be done. Um, your best bet's gonna be tune that antenna for maximum FARs, as it were. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed tagging along and learning a thing or two about tuning your CB. And if you wanna see more random stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to Julian's Random Projects. Poor black man ain't got changing clothes. Girl got drunk, close that door. Poor black man ain't got changing clothes.